Happy Friday fam. So I am back here again with another vlog and I'm so excited for today's vlog because it is the girls 22nd month and can you believe we are two months away from the girls turning two? It is so crazy how fast time has flown by. I was looking at their first birthday photos just the other day and I can't believe how big they are now and they're just turning into such little people. Uh, but I'm still deciding on my theme. I've narrowed it down to two so I'm really excited. I can't wait to start planning. Uh, but in today's vlog you'll see there's so much going on. I did a lot of jewelry organization. I got the bonus room for finished. I did some makeup organizing. I did the girl's second bedroom slash playroom and just kind of all throughout the house again. These honestly have been so fun to do and it's just easy when I can get a lot done with you. Uh, so again, thank you so much for watching the vlogs and loving them so much and just being so supportive. Uh, and also if you have not yet subscribed, join the fam right now for more vlogs. And of course, let's just roll right in. So I just made a little video here for Instagram. The girls are 22 months today. Can't believe it. Okay. Are you looking for Max, Sophia? Urgh. Is he below you? <laughs> yeah. Urgh. The other thing I did last night I wanted to quickly show you, I actually made new channel art. So I think I like it like this more. There's just so many photos that I obviously like to share and um, Actually, the artwork, uh, I'm gonna be blowing up in my office. I know I talked about that before, but I just thought I would share some really cute new photos. That was actually when we went to the zoo, which I love that photo. I think I'm gonna post on Instagram. That's when we went shopping. And um, yeah, I just, I think it looks really good. So check it out. It's on my YouTube channel right now. And then I was just going through all of the video comments uh, yesterday. I'll go through them a little bit more today, responding. But I cannot believe it. The last vlog is at 35K in one day. I am just so happy and over the moon. You guys are loving the vlog so much. So if I don't say it enough, thank you so, so much for all the love and support. And if you guys have missed any of the old vlogs, definitely check them out. This is the first one we have um, from when we walked into our new home. So that was three weeks ago. So crazy, you guys. Everything is so clean. She loves this wagon. You do. You're obsessed with it. And you put whatever you want in there. <laughs> okay, Mia, where's your sister? Where did she go? Is she with Dada? You guys have your unicorns out there. Your <laughs> yeah, go find her, your shopping cart. Hi, Sophia. Found you. Bye. Bye. Oh. <laughs> Your sister in, please. Thank you very much. Okay. Baby's over there. Yeah, baby's right there. The girls just went downstairs with Ryan. I actually have, I'm gonna turn off the TV really quickly here. I have a lot of work that I have to do today. So emails, I have some cleaning, organizing. I have that bonus area that we need to get done. <laughs> it just needs to have it. And I wanted to show you what it looks like after the girls came upstairs. Let me show you. This is what it looks like right now. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> This was only an hour with them and they were sort of helping me, but we didn't really get anything done. So I pulled out the baskets. These are actually the ones we had in our mudroom at our old house. So I think I'm gonna put them in the guest closet and there's a ton of stuff that I have in my suitcases still and clothing that I haven't put away. So I also don't know where to put my play buttons, my YouTube play buttons right there. But Ryan said I should hang them up somewhere, so. Yeah, that's what I'm doing this morning and then I'm sure I'll be doing lots more after but I want to get this cleared out because I wanted to get a big big rug right here and a big ottoman. We're gonna get a really nice like either painting or something to go above the couch and then we also have to get a TV stand and we already have a TV for the bonus area. So lots to do but I'm really excited for this room to be complete after I clean it. I am just waiting for my piece of toast. I thought I should probably eat something before I start cleaning, but 
Right here I have my diffuser. I actually put it in the office. I've just been moving it around so I definitely have to get some more. And it's obviously so unfortunate I can't even use my own coupon code um, that Volupsa gave me. It's just for US only. So I'm just gonna have to purchase some. I think I'll get some off Sephora. Uh, but they are fantastic like they smell so good you guys and I actually had one in or I had this one in the powder room And then I was moving it around in the kitchen and it's really made the whole house smell good Nothing fancy this morning just doing peanut butter, which this has been my go-to peanut butter I actually got it by accident, but the sea salt is actually so so good So yeah having a piece of toast and then gonna start cleaning. So this is my little setup right now I'm actually watching a live right now uh and I'm gonna start organizing and cleaning. So I just wanted to quickly show you guys what I was doing before I start fast forwarding this process because it's gonna take me a while, but had my toast as well. Eat my toast. There are little pictures everywhere from the girls. <laughs> Look at this. So funny. They love looking at pictures. Okay, so I've already started. Um, I cleared out my suitcase right here, but I just wanted to quickly show you guys. I got this, um, it's kind of like a Hermes knockoff, kind of looks like Hermes, but I got this at Home Sense before we moved here, so it's beautiful. Like, I really, really like it. I think I might put it on this couch. Looks like it would blend really nicely, so I'm gonna leave that up there. I have so much makeup, like tons of makeup that I still have to put away, so I found all of um, the leftover makeup bags that I actually had in my suitcase. This is all brushes. I also found these really cute little headbands uh, that were made for the girl. So I'm gonna link them down below on her shop. So she put like Mia, um, Sophia, and then an SL Miss Glam one. And there's so many different colors that she sent over. So that was super sweet. And honestly, there's so much random stuff, like so much random stuff. I have picture frames everywhere from our wedding. This one here, which I love, picture of our rings. And yeah, like I'm gonna start going through all of those, but I just wanted to get the suitcases and like the bigger um, pieces out of here. Hi, Mia. Mama. Yes, hi, Sophia. Are you helping me? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, so strong. So I am back in my closet right now. I am about half done the bonus room. I brought the luggages downstairs. We put the girls down for naps. So I just wanted to show you kind of how I'm gonna be organizing my jewelry, but I wanted to do this today. I've been so excited to organize my jewelry and it's just something that I haven't had time to do. Uh, but these were the trays that I got from Amazon and I really like them. I think I'm gonna get a few more cause I've clearly ran out of space. And these are the ones that I got from Ikea. Now I like the watch or how I did the watches, but this one here, I don't know because I don't have that many like watches and necklaces to put in here So I don't know what I'm gonna do with this one. I prefer having one like this So I think I might do that. I might order one more today and Just wanted to quickly show you so these are my watches that I have here And I really do like how they're displayed most of them are Vinciro as you know I love Vinciro watches Kate Spade. I have some necklaces. I have my headpiece that I wore on my wedding day 
and just some other stuff that I have here, which is kind of miscellaneous. Like those are from Aldo. I have some, oh, these are one of my favorite pairs of earrings, the heart ones. I wore that actually when we were coming out here uh, for our build and I first announced it. I remember wearing those, so that's really special. Uh, the little flower earrings right there from Olive and Piper, which I really love her jewelry. I wore this bracelet here on my wedding day, so let me know if you would like to see a jewelry collection. Definitely give this video a thumbs up to let me know or comment down below, uh, but that's something I haven't done. Like, I've never actually done a full jewelry collection, so that is something I love, obviously. I launched a jewelry case, and I just love, 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 love jewelry as much as I love handbags and everything else, and I love collecting jewelry too, which is why I also have this little baby right here. So I just have my fancier earrings in there. Sometimes I talk so much I get really out of breath. <laughs> Uh, but right here I also have some like bracelets that I've had for years like I keep jewelry for years uh, this was a bracelet I actually bought in Calgary when I last lived out here five years ago and there's just so much so I definitely am gonna be organizing today like I said I'm gonna have a new tray uh, maybe I'll order one or two depending on how much I need uh, but yeah I'm really happy I used this drawer and then I think I'm going to use this drawer here for jewelry and then the bottom ones will be for wigs and whatever else I want to organize and store. And honestly, these are so great. Like if you just want a miscellaneous amount of earrings, just random ones, I always have gone with the Aldo ones. Aldo has really, really nice affordable earrings and I'm pretty sure they're in the States too. I think Aldo's in the States too, but yeah, they're awesome. Like I love them. Majority of my smaller pieces like earrings and stuff are from Aldo. Uh, with the exception of like Olive and Piper and a few other earrings that I have. But anyways, I am going to get to organizing this. Also, I'm going to do a chit chat after since you guys love seeing that so much on my last vlog. So that is coming once I finish organizing and getting ready. But I just wanted to let you know that. I also have these to go through right after. So this is my Henry Bendel bag, which I never used this. I've had it was actually one of my first like designer bags. Uh, not luxury, but it still is expensive and they do have beautiful bags. So I just put a ton of my Lindy uh, bag charms in here. I have a little candle and it's so funny. Anytime the girls see this, they're like, Dada, Dada. But this was from a good friend, Lucelli. So she made this and look how blonde I was. Oh my goodness. Uh, but yeah, I have lots of stuff. I have some Tiffany's and I got to put all that away. I also have just like really like I just basically threw in a ton of stuff when I was packing up the beauty room. So I have like floral, um, a lot of random stuff. So I'm going to put all this away. And of course, I told you guys in my last video that I have been breaking out like crazy since we've moved here. And so has Ryan. And this happened the last time, like when I moved from Vancouver to Calgary. And it's just the climate is so different and it's so dry in Calgary. So my skin is still adjusting. But I never used to break out this bad, like probably like when I was pregnant, but never this bad. So I've been trying to like mask and like hydrate my skin, uh, but if there's any products that you know from going from like a really humid climate, which is where we lived before, to a drier climate, let me know if there's any products that have worked for you because my skin is just like, I want it to breathe too, so I haven't been doing makeup every day, and especially in my vlogs, I'm like, hey, if I'm cleaning, I'm not putting makeup on. Um, but obviously I like to be glam and I like to be done up sometimes for my videos, but that's not always the case, especially if I do have to let my skin breathe a bit. But, and I also haven't washed my hair, so I've washed, I wash my hair once every like eight to 10 days. It can actually go quite a while if I use the right products. Uh, so I've been really enjoying that. And it also has been helping my hair so, so much, and especially since it is drier here, I don't want to wash it a lot. Uh, so that's why I have it up right now in a pony. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to continue with the jewelry. And then I also have new outfits that I want to try on a little bit after that I got from Topshop in my last vlog. So I'm going to try those on later.
So I have my little case right here filled. So this is honestly one of my favorite jewelry cases ever. And I use it for all of like my really, really, you know, precious jewelry that I wear most often and my rings. So I keep that in there. And then I also found this one. So I do have a smaller version from Ikea. So I think I could put like bracelets in here. I might do that. And then the other thing that I wanted to quickly show you guys something that I was working on and I put it back here of course I know I shared it on my Instagram on my stories but two new brushes that I am working hard on so they're gonna be sets and this one I know you guys are gonna love I am like so obsessed with the, the design the handle the jewels and it's something I've never done before and then also this really pretty blue like this is the prettiest blue I have ever seen and I cannot wait so both of these sets are coming soon but I just wanted to show you guys a little sneak peek and then I just found my Myself another tray which is awesome so I can actually use that for my perfume which I have just sitting over there and I do have to find a spot to put them in instead of the window so I just want to say thank you because someone did remind me just from the heat and it gets that like there's a lot of sun after 4 p.m. in this room so it is a good idea that I put it somewhere else so I'll have to try to find another spot but I definitely have been organizing my jewelry very well i'm really happy with how it looks and i think i'm gonna put the trays in here and one thing i was thinking i could even stack them like if i were to get more jewelry then i could just have a few trays and stack them like i do with my makeup uh but that's what this looks like i'm just gonna take the candle out there we go so that's what it looks like there and it just looks so organized like i really love these i didn't fully finish but it does look really good so far i do want to have my wedding bracelet out for display so i'm gonna put that in here for now so pretty I just went in with my skincare. So the Biosense eye cream I've been really enjoying. It's really nice and lightweight. So I went in with that. I also have been using this for quite a while now, you know that, uh, the Proteiny Cream by Drunk Elephant. So yeah, I definitely have some breakouts, but hopefully they go away soon. I also have the C Firma uh, Vitamin C Day Serum. So I've been going in with that too. I might get the full size, it's pretty good. And you guys already know, you've seen my little tear. I am obsessed with it. I have all of my just facial products and stuff in here that I've been using every day. Uh, so yeah, and also that's out of habit, Ryan and I have been cleaning like this house like crazy. So um, we usually use like a microfiber cloth and we just wanna keep fingerprints and keep the house as clean as possible. Also this, which is really nice. I need to go get the full size, the deep cleanse. I love it. It really, really is a nice uh, soft exfoliator for your skin and it's gentle because my skin definitely reacts to products. So I just wanna use something lightweight. The other thing I need to get more of, so look how many I've used. I've used half of this already. And I actually got this from Anthropology, but they're exfoliating sugar cubes and they smell like coconut. They smell so fresh and so just beachy and I, I've been obsessed. So I really, really like it. And I definitely will try to find some cheaper ones because this I think was $25, which is kind of expensive. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get ready. And you know me and my sneak peeks, so. I think I shared this on my Insta stories because Mia was playing with it, but we have the new Marble Glam packaging, which I'm obsessed with. And you already know I've had my marble brushes in like all my videos out on display. So it's no secret that I'm coming out with Marble Collection and it was obviously inspired by our new home. So I think you guys are gonna absolutely fall in love like I have. And I love how the foiling came out. Like it's so pretty. I'm obsessed with these pull-out boxes. I've been using them for decor as well. And also I just ordered, I wanted to let you know, I ordered this um, for downstairs. So that little area, that little nook we have for like where we charge our phones and stuff. I just thought this would be nice. And I really do like how it's mirrored, but it's very just like, I don't know, it's plain at the same time, but it's glam. I just love it. So that's also from Wayfair. I can link it down below if you guys are interested, but it's the perfect little vanity chair. 
Okay, so I am at my vanity. I thought I would get ready with you and from the last vlog I did, I did like a super chit chat and I probably talked for 20 minutes and it looks like you guys really enjoyed that and I couldn't believe how responsive you were. So I really, really appreciate it when you guys are actually listening to me because I already told you when you're vlogging, it kind of just almost feels like you're talking to yourself, but you make me don't feel, or you make me not feel that way. So I'm really appreciative. Uh, and obviously I was talking about planning my 30th birthday, which so many of you guys, told me what you did and um, I think I'm gonna do the same thing. Honestly, probably just do something really laid back and chill at the house and just like have a girls thing. I don't know. Like, I don't wanna do anything crazy, but got my primer, Laura Mercier, the hydrating primer, which I told you my skin's been really dry. Awkwardly enough, it's still, like I'm still really oily in my T-zone, but the outer parts of my skin are really dry. So I just have the combo skin right now and it's just, <sighs> I definitely want to clear up my skin, but yeah. Anyways, uh, we might have some friends come over this afternoon. That's why I wanted to get ready right now, just because it might, I might need two days to finish cleaning. So I'm still working on it, but towards the end of this vlog, I will show you guys the full result in the bonus area and my closet as well, and just my jewelry organization. Okay, so I just went in with my foundation. I wanna start just getting it done with because I noticed I can be putting foundation on for like 10 minutes if I'm talking. Uh, but yeah, I just thought I would do it right now and then also going in with the same concealer. I'm just using all the same products but I just kinda of wanted to chat with you. Uh, the other thing we have to get actually is a new stroller and also the car seats. So the girls have to be around 30 pounds. Now we haven't weighed them in a long time but I'm pretty sure because Mia's legs almost touch the bottom when she's in the stroller. And I want to get one of those wagons. We saw everyone like have them at the zoo. And I saw one with twins where they had like this tray out where they were both eating in this like sit down wagon. I just think they would really enjoy that. And they're a little bit more constricted when they're in a stroller. But if we're like at a mall or something, it's a lot easier in a stroller because they like to touch everything. But uh yeah let me know if there's i i use up a baby so i mean i could just do the same brand but if there's one that's cheaper that really works then let me know but those are the two next big purchases that we need to do for the girls and then also bed sheets i do want to get bed sheets but like i'm not getting them at pottery barn they're so overpriced as i said so i'm gonna try to find other ones i still have some digging to do but i ordered some more furniture yesterday so once everything comes in i want to do like a big wayfair haul because we haven't done that. We've just been getting stuff like spontaneously, but I want to just wait and then show you everything in one of these vlogs. So let me know too, if you guys are getting my E25 brush and the Ipsy bags. I am so excited for this brush. It's so beautiful. And I think you're gonna really, really enjoy it. So let me know, definitely let me know in the comments. There we go, I look a little bit more alive now. My mom is here on Friday, so that is why I'm pre-filming because I want to definitely have vlogs, but I don't want to vlog when she's here. So I definitely have a lot of work to do today and tomorrow. Today's Wednesday as I'm filming this, but I definitely want to make sure that we have time because she hasn't seen the girls in months and she's here for only five days. So, because she's coming out again for their second birthday. You guys already know my family's in Vancouver, so it's really, really close, which is great. There we go, put on some bronzer, eyebrows. I'm not gonna do like a full makeup today. And when my mom's here, I definitely want to vlog a little bit. We're gonna try to do some fun things like we did with Ryan's mom. So we went to Banff, Ryan wants to go to Banff again. My mom hasn't been probably in years, uh, but there's so much to do here, so much to see, and we love doing that stuff with the girls. and. They just get so excited when they're out and they definitely are outdoorsy like when anytime we take them in the wagons you know those little unicorn princess wagons we got them i got those off amazon so i'll link them down below because i had so many questions when i shared them in my insta story but they are obsessed they have like their little water bottles in there and they just like lay back and they just oh they love it so i'm really excited that they love going on long walks and love being outside because I definitely want to enjoy the rest of the summer before it gets really cold here, so. My birthday's in October. I always have a hard time planning my birthday because it's when it gets really cold and it's so close to Halloween. So I definitely want to try to figure out what I'm going to do. I probably will just have friends over though, honestly. Keep it simple, keep it easy, and keep myself non-stressed. So I think that is like my biggest goal is just to like 
not stress as much about the small things and the little things. So I've been getting pretty good at it. I definitely have. Uh, and I honestly have to say this move was such a big adjustment and such a big thing for us mentally, physically, and we just love it so much. We're so happy out here and it's just such a great move for us. And there's so much to do with the girls. We love just being close to the mountains and it just brings back memories. This is where Ryan and I met. Obviously, I've told you a hundred times, but it's just, it brings back so many memories for us. So, gosh, my eyebrows, I honestly can't, like, I haven't got them microbladed, I haven't got them uh, waxed in a long time, I feel like they just look crazy, but anyways, I'm gonna finish up getting ready right now, and I will chit-chat a little bit later in this vlog, too, uh, once I get the girls up, like I said, today is their 22nd month, uh, so I definitely want to do something. It is a little rainy here today, but the sun is starting to come out, so I definitely will vlog a little bit after. Are you gonna go outside on a walk with daddy? Yeah, you are. Mommy still has to buy a carpet for the, or a mat for the front of our house, but I'll do that soon. Are you petting Max? Oh, that's so sweet. Yay. That's your brother. That's your sweet brother. So the girls are now on a walk with daddy. This is how long it takes me to do things because we're just doing one thing and then we have to, you know, do the next and feed them lunch. So it just takes forever to do one area in this house. But I told myself this is going down today. It's going to happen. Uh, quickly wanted to just show you where I'm going to put all of my books. So these are like my coffee table books. I'm going to put actually a few in the guest bedroom because it has like a little table there, which I still have to buy a big mirror. I'll show you in a minute. But I have lots of books. These ones here are beauty books that I have. Um... Yeah, so you guys have Michelle Fan right there, another YouTuber right here, and yeah, there's just lots of stuff that I have to put away. So I'm just taking out all this, and then I can put shoes in here. This is something my friend made for me, my first Ipsy bag. So I'll put that over there. And then in here, I have some of my Bling Art For You mirrors that I had made, so, so sweet definitely have to find a special spot for that and then these ones here are just the other mirrors that she made me for for me I can't talk today uh, but yeah lots of like phone cases and stuff so I just kept them in the packaging but I definitely need to find a spot for these too you guys have seen these phone cases they're so cool um, I have my photo album book right here this is actually of just the girls and I cannot wait to add to this this was like when they were born I used to love scrapbooking so much and it's hard to find the time, of course. I feel like when they just, when they're getting older, they get so much more busy. Um, so I didn't have time to finish it, but I definitely want to. My goodness, the first time they popped out. So crazy, they were just tiny. Even more random, I have a pony right here from Bellamy and I'm getting a custom wig, you guys. I just sent in um, the info for it. So I'm really excited. Once it comes in, I definitely will show you what it looks like. Such random things in here. So Ryan got our guest bedroom TV up here. So my mom arrives on Friday, which is today, the day that I'm getting this up. Uh, but today's Wednesday as I'm filming. But this is the guest bedroom right now. It's completely not finished. I actually have to do the sheets before she gets here. And then we have the little side tables. These were from our master bedroom in our old house. So they actually really work in here because they're too small for our master. Uh, and then this little nook that I was talking about. So I do have to get like a little chair right there. Should I get the same one that's in my, I know I should do something different. I think I should do something different in here. And then we actually wanna get a big, big mirror. So it's gonna be like a vanity area. Uh, but this is where I was thinking of putting some books. All I have is like a little Chanel book and that. So I definitely wanna, I'll make it a little bit more fancy before my mom gets here, but. Um, that's what it looks like. I also have this. This was in my beauty room before so kind of just I don't know I didn't know where to put it and then just to show you the washroom it Has its own washroom. So this is what it looks like. It's not like super done right now I actually we have to change the shower curtain because it's so short and it looks awkward right now But this is actually the shower curtain from our old place But we just have to get a, sh a taller shower curtain the ceilings are so high in here, so we're definitely not used to that. Um, we have a little toothbrush holder. I think I got that from Amazon. Um, this is actually for your like hair iron um, straightener. 
and just some smaller things that I bought from Crate and Barrel, so yeah. And these floors are honestly my favorite. Like they're in the girls' washroom as well, just on the other side there, but these are so fun to look at. I just have fallen in love with them even more being in this home. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of what the guest bathroom looks like. It's a really, really nice size. So back to makeup organizing and I have a feeling I might have to actually use some different inserts because I have some larger palettes that I don't know if I'll have room for them in my actual makeup vanity. So I'm gonna put them in here for now. I just put palettes in the back. I put blushes, bronzers. I love these two face ones, so I kept them in the front, and then I'm just grabbing all the bronzers. But for the palettes, I think I have to put them in a separate organizer and put them all together. So, because the inserts I bought are much too small for large palettes, so I think that'll be a little bit better if I just put them into a different insert. And then I also have lots of this is Too Faced. You guys know I love Too Faced. And then this is their big one that I had right here, which I do love. So it's like the biggest palette ever. <laughs> and then all these boxes actually have makeup in them too. So I definitely um, have a lot of makeup. But I mean, I love makeup. I'm so passionate about makeup and it just makes us feel good, right? So I'm also a big makeup collector. I definitely have downsides. You guys know I've done like a million declutter videos. So I have honestly put my collection into like half. Uh, but I have, yeah, lots of items here that I haven't tried yet. So I definitely, I might do another get re ready with me soon and just incorporate it into a vlog. Cause I feel like those are so fun to watch and do. There we go. Okay, so I wanted to quickly show you guys what I was doing. Uh, you would have seen this in my last home because I've had this insert for a very long time. And you can put like blushes, lashes, uh, compacts, like anything will fit into these. They're great. And then this organizer I really like too. It's from Bella Posh. And I'll put all my large palettes. I put all my bronzers, lippies in there. This box here is for friends and family. So I have like so much like so much makeup that I just don't wear. So I'm leaving this box aside. My mom can go through it and my friends and whatever else I'll donate. So I have that. And then what is in here? Oh, those are my stickers actually for my brand. So that can go downstairs in my office. This one is brushes. So I've got like some of the brushes I've done with Ipsy in here. Those can also go in my office. And I'm getting pretty done here you guys like this is this is pretty good this is pretty productive so I'm just gonna get all of this into my makeup organizer and then I'll show you guys what it looks like after I'm done good morning Max <laughs> so today is day two of vlogging but I just thought I'm like you know what I'm gonna do a day in my life I haven't done one in a long time uh, since this house so it's gonna be a two days in my life. <laughs> but uh, this morning actually, Ryan and I were on a Zoom call and we also are getting ready. My mom's here tomorrow. I cannot believe it. So she's really excited to see the girls. And I just had a quick question before I start cleaning again. But uh, right here, I was asking Ryan if we should do a big mirrored mirror or a piece of art and he wanted to do a big mirrored mirror. It might actually make the room look a lot bigger as well. So let me know your thoughts on that. Which one do you think? Cause I feel like a piece of art you'd have to have like a really, like find a beautiful piece that you're obsessed with and like in love with. A mirror might be a little more safe, but let me know what you guys think. And also my second ottoman should be arriving next week. I am also about to head to get some groceries because my mom's here tomorrow. So, oh, it's such a beautiful day. Look at that, beautiful day and beautiful mess. <laughs> okay, so yesterday, you already know, I got everything mostly out of the boxes and suitcases. The girls, of course, 
replying with my brushes. I shared a little video of that on my Instagram and I cannot believe how fast those two can make a mess. It's honestly crazy, uh, but it's very easy for them. <laughs> now I'm just in my closet and you can actually see our patio from right up here and Ryan's lines in the grass. How perfect are they? <laughs> uh, but I did finish my jewelry collection yesterday so I just wanted to show you how I organized that and then these drawers here. Just wanted to quickly show you. I have like nothing in here, so that is somewhere where I can also put jewelry or whatever else, like small leather goods. I have all of my headbands in here, which are more for winter. And then in here, I just have all of my beanies. And then last but not least, I have sweaters. So that's also down here. And then on this side, it's actually like my favorite little area. I have all of my smaller wallets and then larger bags. Once this is done, done, I will do a tour video, but I just wanted to quickly show you guys. I don't remember what's in this last drawer. Oh, nothing, look at that. So I do have a clear drawer. This side here, I just have like pants and shorts and then hats on this side, bathing suits, and then pants at the bottom because they're a little bit deeper. Now for the jewelry, I sort of finished yesterday like this portion, so I am gonna order two more. And then on this side here, I have my watches. So it kind of looks nice just all together like this. And I like how like, if you look up, it's just like all jewelry. So I'm really excited. I obviously love jewelry as much as I love handbags and everything else. I love displaying jewelry. I might not wear as much, but I love like displaying it and collecting it. Uh, so yeah, I'm a big lover of like charms and cute little bracelets and stuff. So. I have all of that in there. I just wanted to quickly show you and I still have a little bit more organizing in here, but it's getting done. I do need to run and get groceries though. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna continue this on Monday so I can be like, boom, there's nothing in the bonus area because this is gonna take me forever. Uh, and I do have to get this video edited and get it up for you guys. So just to recap on my makeup here, just to show you, I did do quite a bit. I have a feeling I might have to put these larger trays in um, our washroom just below the sink because there's a lot of space there instead of the drawers because the drawers are not that big. So I think I'm gonna do that and then, yeah, figure it out from there. How cute is this, you guys? My friend Susie made it for me and it has Louis Vuitton on there and my logo SL Miss Glam. Uh, so I don't even know if I can use this because it's so beautiful, but I just have it in my office for right now. And the other thing, so Nicole, uh, we've been going back and forth deciding on which trays to do for my house. So I think I'm gonna get her to make one for our living room area so we can put it on both the ottomans and then also maybe my kitchen, I was thinking, a white one, I'm not sure though. It's so hard because they're so beautiful and I definitely want to put them like all over our house and then one in the bar, I think. But this is the Chanel one and I just put the girls' books in here for now until I can figure out what to do with decorating. But I also have to get my photo done and I haven't done that yet, my canvas that's going right back here. Okay, so saving the best for last, I wanted to share with you guys our finished basement and the bar area. I'm gonna be a little bit quieter because the girls are gonna hear me. They're playing in the room with Dada, but um, the bar area, I actually have to find chairs, which has been really, really, really hard. Uh, I wanna find white ones and maybe like silver or chrome legs, I don't know, but they're really hard to find. But I did get all the glassware, so I wanted to quickly show you guys. So I have this tray, I got this tray from at Crate and Barrel, but this is what I was saying of maybe doing a nicer one from Nicole, so maybe like a white one that says Chanel, I don't know. But uh, the cups here, the whiskey glasses are also from Crate and Barrel. This stuff is actually all from Crate and Barrel. I just placed another order and you guys will see it soon, but I got a lot of stuff for the bar and like mixing and just making drinks and stuff. Not that I do, I'm really bad at making drinks, but um, some of my friends know how obviously. So I just wanna have everything so this can become like an entertainment space when we are, when we do have guests over. Martini glasses, which are really cute and like the island is beautiful. I love this island. There's a ton of drawer space that we haven't even used right here. I have like Ryan's whiskey glasses back here and there's not a whole lot. These are really funky. I really like these. Look at that, that's really cool. They're really heavy. And then right back here, we have more of those martini glasses. And on this side here, look at that wallpaper. I'm like obsessed with it. It's so stunning. We have our sink. This soap dispenser is from Crate and Barrel. And then this decanter is from Crate and Barrel. 
I didn't put anything in and I just think it looks nice clear like that. I have lots of wine glasses, the big bubba's that I got from, these are from Crane Barrel, everything's from Crane Barrel so I don't think I have to say that anymore but they're gorgeous. I always have loved and wanted like the big, big red wine glasses. Uh, right here we have the little cocktail ones, these are really cute. And then right here champagne glasses, so. Nothing in the very top, haven't needed to use that. I don't think we have anything in, or yeah, I do. I have some of the little stir sticks with diamonds on it. Um, those are fun, I don't think anything. Yeah, we haven't even used these drawers yet. So you can see we still have like a lot of stuff and then we also have a dishwasher, which is really helpful. We have the bar, mini fridge right here and uh, kid friendly. <laughs> so I think we have beer, wine and some champagne in there. Uh, and then some mixing juices and stuff like that. I don't think I have anything in here. And then on this side, I have, boom, there's alcohol that we got. So we try, I tried to get like the fanciest bottles more for like show, but uh, we have whiskey, vodka, and gin. And the bar lights, I haven't really showed in any of my vlogs. I don't even think I've really been down here all that much, but aren't these cool? They're so funky and we wanted to go with something different down here, not do like chandeliers. I think it's more fun down here, but these are really cool and Ryan and I really like them. And we all the furniture we have down here is actually from our old house. So you'll recognize the couch over there. We just got the new TV. Um, so yeah, that was great. But this space is perfect for the girls. They run around like crazy down here and we'll probably get like a big rug over here. Uh, they're in the playroom right now with Ryan, but I just wanted to quickly show you. We had to get a larger TV. You should have seen how small the one was that we had here before. Uh, but we've been watching a lot of movies down here. It's been really nice. Then if you go this way, we actually have another bedroom right here. So my friend actually stayed here the other day. I hope it's clean. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so it's clean. Uh, this was actually the girl's old dresser because you know I'm getting them a new one. And then we had this frame from our guest bedroom at our old house. So marble table, we don't know what to do with it. I think we're gonna have to sell it because it just doesn't go and we can't find space for it. So yeah, just want to quickly show you guys that. And then also the washroom over here. So this is our basement bathroom. How fun is this tile, you guys? Like. Oh, I love this tile. It's so different and I'm so happy. Like our builders want to do something really funky and different down here. And yeah, we have black and gray and there's this blue tile, which is just so gorgeous. And over on this side, our sauna, which guess what? Yesterday was our first time being in here. Can you believe that? We haven't been in here yet, which is crazy, but we really enjoyed it. This was more Ryan's doing. He loves the sauna, but I do enjoy it. We try to do it like once a day. We're gonna try to do it once a day. Uh, so I might as well show you. Let's turn the light on. So it's a dry sauna. That's what it looks like there. And we didn't have the double seats the last time, so we just had one, and it was pretty squishy in our last one. So this one's really big. It's like double the size, but so nice. It's kind of like a home away from home. Like you feel like you're like at a resort or like we just, we don't feel like we're at home when we're in here, which is the point. So the other area I haven't really shown all that much is the mud room, uh, but I will definitely share more of it once we're a little bit more organized in here. But look at these handles. They are so bling, I love them. And we have all the girls stuff in here. So uh, their coats, we have their hats, we have their sweaters and their shoes. Uh, so I mean, yeah, this is just stuff that they wear most of the time and their sandals are down there. Their little hats, which uh, we take them on walks every day. And uh, we put some of Max's stuff, like his leash in these drawers here. I love the bench. The bench is really helpful because the girls actually sit on there when we put their shoes on. So it's just like getting them ready for when they're older and it's just awesome. Really like it. And what is on this side? Oh, okay, so I put my coats. I forgot that I did that. Um, I put my coats on this side here, my winter jackets. I have my hat and the girls' sweaters on here. Um, and if you look up closely, they're diamonds. Isn't that cool? Ryan stuff's on this side. I don't know if we put anything in here. Oh yeah, we did. Okay, so we have some diapers. Um, I might bring some of those down here because they're upstairs right now. And then I have some shoes, just the thing that I bought them the other day for them to draw on outside. So 
Um, yeah, still some stuff we have to organize in here, but just to show you what it looks like. And then here's that little nook that I was talking about where I just bought the chair, so I'm sure maybe in the next vlog or next next vlog, you'll see it here. The, so I got the same one as my makeup vanity, but I've been looking for something because I feel like this is like a nice space where I could either work on my laptop or, I don't know, on my tablet or whatnot, so... Max is having a little nappy, but honestly you guys I think this is where I'm gonna leave the vlog because I have grocery shopping to do my mom's here in the morning uh, I feel like I've vlogged the last two days and I haven't got a lot done like I haven't finished it off But I want to save it for the next vlog anyways so that I can show you guys like the transformation um but yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and kind of just chit-chatting with you and also just working on the areas that I've been wanting to do. So it is a beautiful day today, by the way. I'm really, really happy with the weather. Um, it's going to be a nice, gorgeous, warm day. So hopefully when my mom's here, we can take her to Banff and I can vlog and we just want to do things with her because she hasn't seen the girls in a while. So uh, yeah. Okay, sorry, last thing I was gonna ask you guys, would you like to see like a backyard and front yard tour, like of landscape? I just, I don't know, like I never really showed that in our old house except for like the pool and stuff. We don't have a pool here, which I've already talked about. Um, and we're in a different climate, different weather. It's not humid and hot here. So yeah, anyways, if you wanted to see it, I, they did an awesome job on our landscape. I cannot believe we have such mature trees outside. They're huge. Uh, compared to our old house, they were tiny. Uh, but yeah, over here we actually do have to get some planters in both of these areas. There's one on the other side as well. So Ryan said he knows a place, so I think we're gonna go do that. And uh, he's been doing such a good job on the grass. Like, I'm really, really happy. It looks so amazing. Uh, but yeah, let me know if you guys wanna see that. And I just love, like, all the windows in this house. I still, I'm just in awe of how beautiful it is and amazing job that our builders did. So it's right here. So right outside of my office, you can see the other one. We actually have to find two seating chairs for outside, but I never really show you guys. So I just wanted to quickly show you what our plan is and we're gonna just get some like fake planters in there. And I think, yeah, our builder recommended somewhere. So I think we're gonna go do that maybe sometime next week. Okay, so that was today's vlog, you guys. And I'm really excited because my mom actually got here today. So she's gonna be here for the next five days. I luckily pre-filmed for you so there are more vlogs coming and I hope you enjoyed just seeing all of my jewelry getting organized and everything else that happened in this vlog so these have been honestly so much fun for me to film and it just is amazing when I see you guys being responsive and responding back to what I'm saying and I'm you know not talking to myself <laughs> uh, but yeah thank you so much for all the love and support and also by the way I am wearing my wig right now so I actually got this wig off Amazon it was 20 20 bucks and I love it because it looks so real and I can just wear it it's really thin it's not heavy at all and it just looks really nice underneath my hat and I mean I can wear it on its own but it's just nice because uh, I don't have to do much I don't have to do anything and I'm actually getting a wig custom made right now so once it comes in and you know I'll show the hairline I'll show everything um, and it is I can't remember the name of the company but it is a really expensive wig but I'm really excited because I've been wanting to do like a custom made one for a while now so anyways when it comes in I will share it with you guys but if you guys have not yet subscribed make sure to subscribe now join the fam and of course I will see you guys on Monday